Welcome to the StockMentor.com studios here in the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota. I'm your stock mentor, Brian Johnson, and I'm making professional trading simple. One of the many ways I'm doing that is through these training videos. And today we are going to talk about pullbacks. You may have watched videos or heard people talk about, well, when it pulls back, that's when you want to get in. Or I'm waiting for a pullback because I don't want to chase the stock. So in that case, if you're new to trading or have never traded before and you've heard that terminology or never heard that terminology and are curious about what that means, we're going to learn about it right here, right now. So let's get into it. Here's a chart. If you do not know what these white and red things are, I invite you to please watch my previous videos to catch up on things. If you do not know what a swing high or a swing low is uh, or an uptrend, downtrend, I invite you to watch my previous videos and then come back and watch this one. I will be using all of that terminology in this particular video today. So here we go. Here we have a swing low. Now we come up to a swing high. So the stock has run up from down here to here. Now you see this little move to the downside? That is a pullback. It's pulling back. The stock is pulling back. Then it takes off again, and then it pulls back. Then it takes off again, then it pulls back. This one was kind of a really deep pullback here, but still a pullback. A run up to here, a pullback, a run up to here, a pullback, a run up to here, a pullback. This is actually a really nice pullback here. So as you can see, that's all a pullback is. Now, in the context of what are we looking at? We're looking at an uptrend. Why? Because we have a swing low here and a swing high here, a swing low here and a swing high here. This is a higher swing high than this one. This is a higher swing low than this one. So we have higher lows, we have higher highs, and that is a definition uptrend. So in an uptrend, a pullback moves down in price. So it pulls back as it gets ready for the next run up. Then it pulls back for the next run up, pulls back. Okay, I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to move forward a little bit. I'm going to show you the same thing in a downtrend. Okay, so here we have swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low. We have lower lows. We have lower highs. And that puts us in a downtrend. So now when we're in a downtrend, the pullbacks are actually to the upside. Does that make sense? So now the stock moves down, it pulls back, and sets up for the next bigger move down. Then it pulls back and sets up for the next bigger move down. Now here's a very large pullback, and this would fool a lot of people into thinking that maybe the trend has reversed. But it doesn't. It comes back down, it pulls back, and then it comes down again and pulls back, once again establishing lower lows, lower highs, putting us back into a downtrend. But that's what a pullback is. These are called bear pullbacks, meaning that these pullbacks are setting up for a bear move or a move to the downside. What we looked at before was a bull pullback, which are moves that that the, the stock moves up and then it pulls back before it moves up again. That's a bull pullback. It's getting ready to be bullish or to go upwards. So there's your pullbacks. In a nutshell, pretty simple to understand. The key to these pullbacks is when do you get in? When do you get into these things? When, when this thing has come down and it's pulled back and it's come down and it's pulling back again and you know it's going to go down again, at what point do you get into the stock? Um, to get into that is kind of out of the, the, the realm of this video and it's really kind of labor intensive. It is something that is uh, something that I discuss quite a bit with uh, my mentoring students. They need to understand that. And that sets you up for uh, the best probability of a successful entry and also sets you up for uh, a, a target on where you think the stock might end up. So uh, pullbacks are very important within the realm of trading from the standpoint of when to get in, when to get out, and when to start looking for another stock. So I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, please call me, write me. If you have any video requests, please get, uh, write those as well. I'll try to get those up for everyone to learn from. And we will see you again in the next video.